So if you're there for like hours and you can't make up your mind, from what I heard, that is perfectly normal. Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's video. As you guys saw in the title, yes, it's true. I no longer have the purse that you guys saw in my previous unboxing and I'm gonna be showing you guys the bag that I got. I am going to be giving you guys very important and valuable information if you want to buy a Chanel bag. More stuff that I didn't cover in the first video, but that is going to be very helpful for you. At the end, I am also going to be doing an unboxing so that you guys can see it. So I want to give just a brief history of what the video from last week was. So I went to Chanel and I got a beautiful bag and I uploaded the video about it. That bag was absolutely gorgeous, but for me, when I left the store, I saw another bag. And I said to myself, you have to go back for that bag because in all honesty, nothing haunts you more in your head than something you didn't get. And that bag was in the back of my mind the entire time. So I basically went back and I got the bag that I couldn't stop thinking about. And they say, now looking at it. So Chanel does have a return and exchange policy. I'm gonna be sharing the one for the United States, which is if you wanna return something, it has to be within the first 30 days. The item has to be within a sellable and unworn condition. You do have to bring the receipt with you and you also have to include everything that the bag brought from the instructions to the dust bag. Everything has to be inside the bag and its original packaging, of course. And you also have to take the original packaging in which it came and it has to be pretty much perfect, just how they gave it to you. No one believed I'd take the time. For this style of bag, which is the classic, Chanel does have different sizes. They have the maxi, they have the jumbo, they have the medium, and they have the small. They also have two minis, but those are not considered classics because they are seasonal. So as I told you guys in the beginning, when I left the store, I saw this bag and then I felt bad because I was in the store for a while and I couldn't make up my mind. So I told Sandy, Sandy, I really, really like this other bag. So I went to another store and I got the bag and it is just awesome. And if you guys are wondering why, I think the main reason is obviously aesthetics. I really like this bag a lot more. It is more sturdy. This, this style is actually caviar, which tends to last longer. I really like the fact in this one that it has the double flap, and that is incredible because it gives you a little bit, I don't know, more security in a way, and like nothing's really gonna fall off your bag. The color is absolutely beautiful, and even though it may look like a summerish color, I'm really into pastels, as you guys can see so this was a perfect fit for me. I really like on the inside that the bag has little compartments. This compartment at the top it basically goes up and that is because Coco Chanel herself believed that this is where you would store love letters. It has two little pockets inside and then the one in the middle that's for you to put your lipstick. The bag is not really that spacious when I compare it to the one I had previously. This one is a lot smaller but this bag, in case you guys didn't know, especially the black ones, they hold their value a lot more than any of the other Chanel bags, in my opinion. As I told you guys, this bag is an investment for me because it's not gonna depreciate in value. Chanel bags are not everyday bags, maybe they are for some people, but they're really not like an everyday bag. This is something that you wanna wear for a night out or maybe if you wanna go for lunch with your friends. This is a beautiful bag and it's very elegant. I would have initially liked for it to be blush, but they didn't have that color I asked and what I was told was that those are seasonal. They don't have them every year. Year. Basically, you just put on a waiting list and if the bag ever arrives, then I would qualify to get the bag. Something that I forgot to mention is that the bag comes inside this dust bag so that you can protect it if you want to have it put away. It also brings these two booklets. One just gives you a brief history of Chanel and on the first page it has your name and bag information. 
The second is just information. Then there is this smaller little bag, which is super cute. Also something very important is that Chanel no longer gives you a card with the serial number for the bag. Now they have it inside the bag. Now I am going to be sharing an unboxing with you guys so that you guys can see the bag in full detail. If you love this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. I upload weekly videos covering beauty, fashion, travel, and lifestyle. Be sure to watch the videos at the end of this video so that you can get an insight of what traveling from all around the world is like. The latest fashion launches, if you love this review, I have many more. And also celebrity makeup tutorials. This video reaches 300 likes, then I'm gonna get something else to match the bag. I'm not gonna say what it is. I really appreciate you watching my video. Thank you so much for your time, and I'll see you next time. Bye.